Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and welcome to my unveiling of the Zombie Apocalypse Survival Kit 2.0. Stay tuned! Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the main pouch. And here we have the new Life Straw Go. Um, attached to this uh, Life Straw Go, there is a paracord pineapple and I got this from jhawkusmcr.com. It's a couple of these containers. Um, I have a different items in here. Here I have a bunch of different tools. Here I have some fire starting capabilities. These containers and uh, this zipper pouch uh, came from Countycom as well as this backpack hand crank radio. This is a little camping stove called cello stove. You don't have to worry about radioactive material whenever you're uh, drinking out of it. This filters out more than a light straw does. This is a little paracord uh, bracelet that has a uh, magnesium fire striker on it. Um, and so you can create um, some sparks. This is from the Friendly Swede. Also comes with a tinder interlaced in the paracord. So this is insect repellent and sunscreen all in one. And this is just a bunch of food back here. Uh, cliff, cliff bars, beef jerky, that kind of stuff, uh, almonds. On the other side, oh by the way, this backpack, I mean this pack, I packed it real light. Um, it's only 20 pounds, actually less than 20 pounds. Attached on the inside here, I have these, uh, these are glow sticks. They last for a long time. Inside this big pocket is a tarp. This is 5x7 tarp. I got some maps, I'll talk about that in a second. I got a right in the rain kit, talk about that. I got a monocular, I'll talk about that in a second. Socks and underwear and little hand warmers. Got some good gloves. And I got a little Soul Bivy. And I also have the Solar Lantern. I did a review on this for y'all, I want to check that out. So that's everything that I keep in the main pouch. Yeah, this is just in case zombies are coming and you just want to grab something. I have it sheathed, but you know you can keep it on the sheath too if zombies are around. Um, this is really cool, and this is a breacher bar also from County Comp. You can split wood with this, it's like, it's like a little crowbar, a little pry, pry bar. I thought that's really cool. This has Molly attachment on the bottom of it, so while you're still wearing this, you can grab the K bar and pull it off. This is a flashlight, obviously, and it has a little diffuser, but it works great without a diffuser as well. And then whenever you turn it off, the diffuser it has a green green hue to it. it. It's glow in the dark. So if you wanted to find it again you could. But if you didn't want to have something glow in the dark, you just I'll just put it in your pocket, you know. A little pocket for your um, your gun. You put a gun there and then you can put the magazine right here too. So let's go over some of these items that are inside here. So right here as it says it says maps and in here we have uh, waterproof maps. One of them has been waterproofed by a, a Ziploc bag. And then the other one is just a waterproof map and a, uh, and a compass. This is from right in the rain. You can get these kits from there. Um, I got a little pencil, I got a marker, and I also have a, a Fisher Space Pen. This Fisher Space Pen came with this kit. Right in the rain is great. I mean, you can, you can write underwater with this stuff. It's really cool. And then my, uh, Altoid survival tin. It's kind of stuffed in there, but um, I have a video on my what I keep in my Altoid survival tin. So here I have a little um, monocular. And this is great for you know seeing zombies far off. Inside here we have a uh, fixed blade knife. Get a little multi tool. This is a Leatherman juice. Got a magnesium fire striker and a big lighter, duct tape rolled up. Uh, got a gun cloth for lubricating the uh, sort of guns or weapons that you have. This is a bunch of tiny little glow sticks. Have super glue. Got a whistle, you know, just in case you're just lost in the woods and, like I said, there's not a zombie apocalypse, so you just lost. Got a can opener, some fishing um, items in here. Got a little mirror in here sewing needle, some water purification tablets. There's hacksaw right here. You can use the hacksaw with the magnesium fire striker. Those snare wires in there too. Now 
in here, as the name implies, this says fire. We have uh, cotton balls right here, just stuffed in there. We have lint in here. And then we have a uh, quick tinder. We have two of these waterproof match boxes. And these are 40 matches each, which makes it 80 total. You can take a lighter and you can light one of these uh, matches on fire and just buy the match in. And these are, uh, these are tinders. They all last for like three or four minutes. Extra lighter right here. Emergencies, drinking water. 2018, when that expires. I have a little bandana. We have more cleaning cloth. And we have some uh, field wipes. Another lighter in here, another magnesium fire extractor. Vaseline, these are great for putting on the cotton balls. Got some extra batteries, zip ties. Headlamp. Okay, so a couple things I already noticed that I forgot. Um, I got a slingshot here and then some ammo. You could distract the zombies or whatever. And you could also hunt in as well. And also had this as well, a survival blanket. I have, uh, you know, some scissors, some quick clap, some gauze. And this, this thing is also pretty cool because uh, it has, there's a belt in there that you can, you can pull out and you can attach to your hip. Waterproof tape. This is compression bandage. This is a compressed triangle bandage. Okay. Um, so in these are uh, in these little kits, I have you know some vitamin C, you know, cough drop kind of stuff. I guess thermometer, Tums, tweezers, uh, medicines in there, butterfly sutures. I also have anti-diarrheal, alcohol prep pads, and some band-aids in there. And then attempt to waterproof this. I also have this in the black bag. Um, you got more, some more vitamin C stuff to keep your immunity high. You got super glue, gorilla tape, as well as moleskin, because you're going to be doing lots of running in the zombie apocalypse. Feminine uh, napkin in there, you know, to absorb some blood or for its intended use. Eye drops, allergy medicine. There's some extra redundancies in there as well. Okay, so this item is also pretty cool. It's a serrated knife, seatbelt cutter, glass breaker, and a flashlight right here. You can use this to get out of a situation, or you can use it to uh, to break into a, a car, you know, abandoned vehicles and stuff to get supplies. I'll have a little flashlight right here. Hand crank radio. This one I have on a lanyard so you can wear it around your neck, but it has a weather radio and a solar panel. And here I have a combat tourniquet. Antibacterial hand wipes here. We got a little uh, mask and a couple of these. We have about uh, four. These are not latex, uh, but these are gloves. More crazy glue. You never have too much crazy glue. Um, just for you know personal hygiene. We got a little toothbrush. We got a little neosporin. Pure hand sanitizer. Chapstick, which also has other survival uses. And then we got um, stuff to keep your butt. You gotta wipe your butt. Well, that just about covers it, YouTube. I want to thank you for watching my video. And if you're interested in any of the items that I've shown here, be sure to check out the description box for links of where you can find these unique items. Y'all stay safe out there. And remember, it pays to be prepared.